A common question that I get asked is how do I make my old school RuneScape blender animations or thumbnails look so vibrant? The secret to this is lighting. So do you want your blender animations or renders to go from this to this? Then this is the tutorial for you. In the last tutorial, we explained how to get assets together to build a smithing scene or whatever scene you like. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over lighting a scene to really make it pop in three easy steps. So diving straight back into our scene from last time, our first step is to be able just to see our scene lit up in a render preview. To do this, we need to change our view to render view. This button can be found at the top right hand corner of the window. Now we can see the lights in Blender. We want to be able to control the ambient light. By default is set to grey, which is absolutely atrocious. And it can cause renders to look like this if there's no lights. To change this setting, we're gonna to go to the shading tab at the top of the screen. Then we're going to navigate to the bottom and select world. Sometimes it's set to object by default, sometimes it's set to world by default. It really depends on how Blender is feeling. Now, when it's set to world, this means we are changing how our scene is shaded. And as you can see, it is currently set to gray. We are going to switch it to black. You can change it to any color you want. However, I'm choosing black because I want to have full control over the lighting. Now moving on to step two, we want to add some lights. To get started, we wanna head back to the default view, which is located at the top left-hand corner of the screen, otherwise referred to as layout. Now, in this scene, we can just move the default light around, but we wanna be able to do everything from scratch, so we are gonna delete the original light, and then we're gonna add a new light. A light can sometimes be hard to see when in render view, so you may wish to change it back temporarily to one of the other view modes. Now, to add a light, you simply press Shift A and then select the light. There are a couple of different options to pick from. For example, if you want a big directional light, then you could pick the sun, but in this case, we want a single light point. This means the light shines from a single position in all directions. This light is going to form the light for our furnace. Now the light is in the scene, we have a little bit of a problem. It's not very bright. What we wanna now do is change the brightness. So move over to the right hand side of the screen and hit the light bulb icon. And now adjust the power, which is how strong the light is, to about 1000. Now we can move the light over towards the furnace and we could have another problem. The light's the wrong color. It's bright white and we want it to be orange. So what we're gonna do is go back over to that lighting panel and change the color to orange by clicking the white box. Now we have a new problem. The light is only in the furnace and we want the light to be spreading outside the furnace. So we're gonna duplicate the light with the Shift D key and then move it just in front of the furnace. You may wish to add another light inside the furnace depending on your scenario or even add other lights in general. But for the most part, we currently have a scene that is lit up and looks quite vibrant. Now as a bonus tip, if you have a character in the scene, you may wish to add an additional white light right in front of them to make the character be a bit more lit up and pop out more as they might have some heavy shadows over them. And there you have it. That is the basics to lighting a scene. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about render settings so you can tell the difference between cycles, EV, and what on earth all these tabs mean. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it so you can make sure you're exporting your thumbnails and animations in the best settings possible.